What is pus? Pus might seem to be one of your body's most disgusting byproducts, but as is often the way with these things, it's also one of its most useful. And it's proof that your immune system is doing its job. It's also great fun, apparently. Or at least it is, judging by the number of hits on YouTube videos of zit squeezing. Anyway, pus is basically a buildup of dead white blood cells, the infantry of your immune system. It accumulates at the site of an infection. When the infection is on or near the surface of the skin, then it's a pustule or pimple, a zit, in other words. If it's the result of an infected hair follicle, then it's a boil. Where the pus is within an enclosed tissue space inside the body, then it's called an abscess, if it's at the site of a new wound, or an empyema, if it's within a naturally occurring bodily cavity. Such as, yes, up your bum. As in all good old doctor doctor jokes, the presence of pus is both good news and bad news. It means you have an infection, but it also means your body is fighting it. Infection is usually caused by bacteria. As soon as your body senses that it's under attack, various types of white blood cell start to do their thing. The two types of white blood cell that concern us here are called macrophages and neutrophils. Macrophages, it actually means big eaters in Greek, detect the presence of foreign bodies and then sound an alarm in the form of protein signaling molecules. This brings neutrophils to the affected area. These are like shock troops. They're like the SAS, the Navy SEALs. Neutrophils are like charging fanatics and do nothing but attack. They kill bacteria or fungal infections by digesting them whole, but ultimately will be killed themselves by their intense germy diet. They are your immune system's most loyal soldiers. Once everything is dead, the macrophages return as a sort of funeral party. They consume the dead neutrophils and turn them into this viscous, sticky fluid we know as pus. Once pus has been formed, it can find itself trapped in anything from a small pustule just under the skin, which you can easily pop with your fingers, to a giant abscess that, in extreme circumstances, can contain over a litre of fluid. Pus is normally white or yellow, but can change colour under certain circumstances. Red pus indicates the presence of blood, often a sign of a urinary tract infection. See a doctor. Green pus is usually a sign of an infection in the upper respiratory tract. See a doctor. Brown pus is usually a sign of a liver abscess. This can burst and spread infection throughout the body, which can be fatal. See a doctor. Finally, unfortunately very rarely, there is blue pus, a sign of an infection called Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which can affect the pulmonary tract, lungs, kidneys and blood. Call an ambulance. There is a Latin medical expression relating to pus. Obi pus, ibi Exacua. Where there is pus, evacuate it. So there you go. You have permission to squeeze a zit. Not everything on Head Squeeze is about pus and poo and mucus. Some of it is really quite civilised and is about submarines, clouds and trees. So if you're interested in that sort of thing instead, do subscribe. Here's the button.